Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today we've got some Prada, we've got Natasha Denona and we've also got some Lumia as well. Now my skincare is done, the last step is sunscreen and I also put on a little bit more sunscreen about 5 or 10 minutes before I started this video. So I've just got to put on some primer. The foundation that I'm going to wear is the Prada one. It is called the Prada Reveal and that was released last year and I've worn this quite a few times. I absolutely love it with my oily skin. And for primer, I'm going to use the Chanel, the La Base one. This was released last year. Now I've tried this foundation with quite a few different primers that I have and it works well with all of them and even the new Chanel one of those Le Beiges primers I'll just see if I can grab it out here I've got the Chanel Le Beiges the healthy winter glow primer and this one is in icy beige and this foundation also works really well with that one but today it's just going to be the permanent primer that Chanel has this Le Beige one which I really love so I'm just going to pop this on and then I'll just let it sit for a couple of minutes before I put on my foundation. And while I'm just letting that primer sit, I'm actually going to put on also the Lumiere, the Lip Volumizer. Now this came out in some new shades. I picked up the original because I hadn't tried that. But today I'm going to be using the one, and this is number 40, and this is Sheer Coral. So this is the packaging that it comes in. This has 7 mils of product. And this is the vessel that it comes in. Absolutely gorgeous. It is plastic. It's not glass, but it looks really beautiful. And the handle up the top here is absolutely gorgeous. Now, this tastes like it has that minty taste. So if you've ever tried the Le Mer, this is the lip balm. And this has the same effect. And this is what the lip balm looks like inside i wear this quite a bit too when i'm beginning to do my makeup i pop some of this on my lips just to prime them up before i put on my lipstick at the end of my makeup routine so today that's what i'm going to do with this as well now i'll swatch this on the back of my hand so this is what the applicator looks like do for applicator and the color is very very sheer and I've actually been wearing it just by itself I quite like wearing sheer lipsticks and glosses and other lip products so that's what it's like I'll just hold it up but if I turn my hand I'll just have a look in the monitor I don't think you can see the tint in that very well so it is very sheer so I'm just going to pop some on now this isn't sticky in any way and it just feels absolutely gorgeous. Now Lumiere refer to this as a lip treatment. So you can use it as a lip treatment if you want and you can just wear it in the evenings for your skincare routine and pop it on before you go to sleep for the night. Like I said though, I've been wearing this during the day and I think it looks really lovely. But the other day I tried it over the top of a Chanel lip liner and that's what I'll be going to do at the end of this video. I'll just wipe off any of this that's left on. I'll pop on lip liner and then again pop this over the top and I think it looks really gorgeous. So now let's look at this foundation. This is the Prada Reveal and I picked up the shade MN40. This is now available in the United States, in Sephora I think, and maybe also Nordstrom as well. I also picked up a couple of Prada eyeshadow palettes as well and I will feature those in future videos and even though I've used this a few times I have kept the original packaging so you can take a look at it. It has 30 mils of product this is made in France and it has a shelf life of 12 months from date of opening. So I'm just going to read from the side of the packet here it says that it instantly unifies skin with an all-day soft matte seamless and flexible coverage. I would agree this is a soft matte foundation. It goes beautifully with my oily skin and this is one that I can wear all year round. It says that it optimizes light diffusion in real life and on screen with the in real life micro filter technology. Blurs the look of pores and fine lines. 
And I would agree with that as well. I mean, it doesn't completely blur your pores and fine lines, and you wouldn't really want it to, but it does have a very soft blurring effect, and it does look really lovely. And then it says, over time, it improves the overall skin look, skin feels moisturized, diffusing a healthy glow, refines skin texture. I'm fairly dubious of foundations that say that they're going to improve your skin. I mean, really, if you want to improve your skin, that comes down to the skincare before you apply the foundation. I love the actual packaging of this, and these are refillable as well. They just pull out, and then you can buy the refill, and it just pops back in here again. But I do think the packaging of these are really lovely it feels quite weighty just like the eyeshadow palette so they have quite a luxury feel now i've used this foundation putting it on with a beauty blender and also a brush today i'm going to put it on with a brush it goes beautifully on with both so either if you use a beauty blender or a brush both are really lovely so actually i've got the lip gloss on my hand so make sure i don't pump it on there but I'm just going to put one pump on the back of my hand there. So it is slightly runny, but it's not overly runny. Now, I would say this has, this has a medium finish. You can have a light to medium finish if you go in fairly lightly. So what I'm going to do is just dot this on, just on the left side of my face first just so you can see the difference between the foundation on the side and nothing on the side here. Now, I didn't do a video last week. The other day, I was going to film a couple of videos, and when I looked in the mirror, I had, it's the first time I've ever had it, and it's gone now, and I thought it was gonna last quite a while, but on this eye here, right in the corner there, and it was really obvious, I had broken blood vessels, <laughs> and I've never had that before. And it looks like it's really sore. It wasn't sore at all, and it wasn't an eye infection. And when I Googled it, <laughs> looked at Dr. Google, it said that it can take a um, couple of weeks to come right, but it was gone. Like, that was about three days ago now and it's just completely gone. So I'm pleased that it has. I thought if it hangs around, I'll still do some videos. I'll just have to explain that I didn't have an eye infection <laughs> and that it is broken blood vessels. But really, as quickly as it came, it has gone again. So I'm pleased that it has, and hopefully it doesn't appear again. So that's with the left side done. Still to do the right side. I think it gives a really beautiful coverage. It feels really light on the skin. It doesn't settle in to my lines and wrinkles. It gives a gorgeous finish. And when they say, as I was saying at the beginning, when they say this is a soft matte, it is. I don't know how this would go if you had really dry skin. And the weather here, it's the middle of summer here in New Zealand, and it has been very hot. And we've had some really humid days. And this wears absolutely beautifully. Now, I do powder it. And really, out of all my foundations, I do... <laughs> I do powder them all, but really I only put on just a light dusting of powder. So now I'm going to do the other side. Now this does have a fragrance, this foundation, but a few minutes before I started this video, I put on some of the, the new, the Chanel, the Chance hand creams and to be honest, I can smell that over any fragrance that is in this foundation. And as I said, I have used this foundation before. So the fragrance is very light. It dissipates really quickly. It doesn't hang around at all. And it's certainly not a heavy fragrance in any way. So I think the foundation... It looks really beautiful. Now, the times that I've worn it before, it's probably around about the 12 hour mark. I do my makeup earlier in the morning and I don't take it off 
until later in the evening so it's probably at least 12 if not 14 hours this does wear a little bit like the majority of foundations but this does wear very evenly so if there are bits where it is wearing it doesn't look patchy or anything like that and that Le Mer, the lip volumizer and even though you couldn't really see the color very much when I swatched it on my hand on my lips you can see that sheer coral it is just so pretty for concealer I'm going to use the Natasha Denona one this is the one that I bought when I was in the States last year and I have this in the shade this is P3 and I think this is a really lovely concealer now I bought this and also the Gucci one that came out last year both of them I picked up actually I was gonna put this on with my finger but I think first of all I'll just just blend it out using a brush and then I'll just tap it with my finger so I bought the Gucci concealer as well and I actually prefer this one they are both very hydrating and they don't emphasize the lines under my eyes at all because they have those hydrating ingredients in them but I think I prefer the Natasha Denona one because it has with the same amount of product this does give more coverage than the Gucci one and that's why I prefer this one but in saying that the Gucci one is still really lovely it's not like I'm not going to use it it's just that out of the two I prefer this one so eyebrows are done I've also got eyeshadow primer on as well and I've just powdered under my eyes for my face I'm going to use the La Prairie the skin caviar loose powder I'm only going to put a little bit of this on and just use my La Mer powder brush and before I do this I'm just going to feel the foundation It feels like it needs just a little bit of powder now if it was winter time and not the middle of the summer and it's getting really hot I've just put the fan on in front of me because it's starting to get really warm in the room I would say you could probably get away without using any powder at all I probably still would but if I was in a rush now during the summertime I definitely need to set it but when it's in those cooler months I think at a pinch like I was saying I probably still would powder but if I was in a rush and flying at the door for some reason then I think it does feel like a foundation where I could skip the powder if I really wanted to and for a bronzer I'm going to use the Hermes one this is shade this is number 03 Sahara and I've been using this bronzer quite a bit lately I try to rotate through the products that I have when you're a content creator you do end up with quite a lot of makeup but I try to go through my drawers and tidy them up quite a bit because when I do that I sort of rediscover makeup that I haven't worn for a little while and this was one of them so I've been wearing this bronzer the last few days and it is really beautiful it has that really gorgeous that Hermes fragrance it's not as strong as when I first bought it but it is still there and it just blends out really beautifully they are gorgeous bronzers they're more on the pricey side but they are really gorgeous so not too long ago Natasha Denona released my mini dream palette and this is really beautiful it is not in pristine condition I have worn this probably at least five if not six times <laughs> since I got it I just love the color story of this it is absolutely beautiful and I will swatch this on my arm there have been plenty of videos on this but it's just just gorgeous now this last shade this is the one nurture so this is the only shade that isn't new in this little mini palette and this is the shade that you got the inspiration for for the rest of the colors it's just absolutely gorgeous 
and just turn down my light a little bit just so you can take a really good look at it. So I'm going to start off with this shade here. This is the cream to matte formula and this is the shade. This is the shade Balance and this is quite a big brush. Which is this one? This is the Sonia G. This is the Classic Crease. And even though it says it's Classic Crease, I find it it's quite a big brush and it's really good for also just sweeping product all over the lid. Now I'm going to go into the shade Nurture and this is also cream to matte formula and just going to pop this through the crease. Then I'm going to take the Sony G, this is the soft definer, I'm going to stay with the shade and I'm going to run some of this on my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go into the shade, this is the one called Devotion. And I'm going to put this in the outer corner. Then I'm going to go into the shade, this is the one, this is called Passionate. Put that through here. Then I'm going to go into the shade here, the darker shade, and that one is called Loyalty. And I'm going to just run a little bit of that on the lower lash line as well. Then I'm also going to use that darker shade to line my upper lash line as well. This, and I know you can do it with a lot of different shadows, but the Natasha Denona shadows in particular, I find just really good for lining your eyes if you don't want to use an eyeliner. So I've actually got a new mascara to try today as well and I haven't tried it yet and it is the Clinique. It's the High Impact Hi-Fi Full Volume Mascara. Now down here they say 230% more volume and they've got a little before and after photo but on the before, it doesn't even look like she has any lashes at all, or if she does, they're very, very blonde, and that's why you can't see them. But there's the before and after, and it says 96% see significant impact after one application, and 94% say lashes stay stretched and lifted all day. So I haven't tried a Clinique product for such a long time, and really, <laughs> I picked this up for the packaging, and thought, well, I haven't tried a new mascara for a while, so I'll give this one a go. So I'm just going to grab one of my small magnified mirrors and we'll give this mascara a go. So first of all, we'll take a look at the wand. So this is what the brush looks like. I'll just take off the excess off there. That is what the brush looks like. Really what I'm looking for with the mascara is I don't have the longest lashes, although they are getting a little bit longer because I've been using a treatment on them for the last six weeks, so they're a little bit longer than they used to be. I want one that won't give me panda eyes, it won't transfer, and it won't flake either. And I also like to layer my mascara. So let's see how, th how this one goes. So it does feel like I'll be able to layer this mascara. It doesn't feel overly dry, but it's not, it's not an overly wet mascara either. It's not, it's not clumping my lashes. And it actually gives quite a nice finish. So I'll just go back in here again. And I'll just do the other side. I'll do my bottom lashes soon. And then once I've done, the only thing is every time I go to pull it out, there's a little bit of mascara on the end there. But that is, that's easily fixed. Okay, that's with one coat. I still haven't done my bottom lashes yet. And I think it's quite nice. 
quite a nice mascara. There's some straight away I don't like. They just tend to clump. And I usually give those mascaras another chance. I give them two or three more goes because sometimes when you use a mascara first out of the tube, it doesn't perform that well. But this one seems to be pretty good. Now it does give really nice volume. And with the second layer, it's still performing really well and there doesn't seem to be any clumping. Okay, that's with both the lashes done. I think it looks really nice. What I'll do, hopefully I remember, once this video is uploaded to YouTube, I will pin a comment and let you know how this wore throughout the day, whether it transferred or not, or whether it flaked, but at this stage, after the initial application, I think it does give your lashes really lovely volume. Okay, I think that I think that mascara is very nice. Just hopefully it doesn't flake. Like I was saying, doesn't transfer, but I will let you know. I'll try and remember to pin a comment. Right, let's have a look at the blush. This is the Natasha Denona. It's my mini dream glow blush. And it is really small packaging. I knew that it was going to be, I think some people were quite surprised how small this is. But it is super cute. And here is what the blush looks like. So you've got the two different shades here. And here is the highlighter. I think some people were having problems. They say, well, each individual shade is a bit hard. If you just want to put maybe on this deeper shade here. Or maybe this shade in the middle. But I don't really have any issues just using the blush first. This part here and then going into the highlighter. The brush that I have been using to put on with is a Sonia G1, and this is called the Classic Cheek. So something about this size, you can see that fits quite well with those two shades there. Or the other brush that would probably be really good, and I've got the Rafa, it's the number 24. This is slightly bigger, but again, just going in, it fits quite well just with those two shades and doesn't go into the highlighter. Of course, you can sweep your brush through everything, through the two shades, through the highlighter as well and put it on that way. Today, I'm going to put on the two shades, mix these two together and then pop on the highlighter. I've also used this blush as well. I think it is really beautiful. I will, first of all, just swatch this on the back of my hand. I'll swatch darkest of the blush, the middle shade, and then the highlighter. So we've got the darker shade, the middle, and the highlighter. And on her website, Natasha describes this as, this is a vintage rose, this is a nude pink, and the highlighter is an icy rosy ivory shade. So I'm going to use the Sonia G brush. And just go in with the blush shades first. It is fairly pigmented. But I do think both of the shades together, they are really beautiful. And initially it looked like there was quite a lot of pigment on my cheek. But you can see how it just buffs out really beautifully. And then just pop some on the other side. And for the highlighter, I'm just going to put that on with my finger. Just put a little bit on my cheekbone there. I'm going to buff that out in a minute. But typical Natasha <laughs> Denona highlight is like little moonbeams on your cheeks through there. But they normally just blend out really beautifully. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to wipe down the brush that I was using to put the blush on with and then just buff that in. So I think that the blush looks really beautiful and I love it that I can buff out that highlighter. Some people like it how I initially put it on and it's like a little moonbeam sitting there but I like it when it's just that little bit more diffused. Now let's get back to the Lumiere, the lip volumizer. It still feels 
really beautiful on the lip. So as I say, this is a lip treatment. It is also plumping as well. They say you can use this as a treatment, so you can use it overnight or use it before just to prime your lips. And it just feels really comfortable on the lips. So you can see that it is still on there and still has that very sheer coral. I think it is really pretty. It feels really moisturizing on the lips. It is a really beautiful formula, but I'm just going to wipe this off and then I'm just going to grab a lip liner. So the other day I used a Chanel lip liner and this is in the one peachy nude. Everything will be listed and linked in the description box below. So not just as a liner around the edges, I put this all over my lips and then I pop the Lumiere, the lip volumizer over the top and I think together it looked really pretty. So that's just with the lip liner all over. That is a beautiful shade, really gorgeous. And now go back in with the Lumiere. And here is the finished look. The foundation is looking absolutely gorgeous and it just feels absolutely beautiful. I think that it does have a very soft blurring effect. It's, like I said, it's not going to take away your pores and your fine lines and you don't want a foundation to do that either. I think then you can start to look quite mask-like, but it does give a very soft filtered look. I think it goes beautifully with my oily skin and my mature skin. It is absolutely gorgeous. The Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette is so beautiful. And I've been using it so much and it really is versatile. I've used it also with this darker shade on the outer corner like I do with a lot of my eye looks and just smoked it out a little bit more. But by using these two on the lid through here and this just under the eye and as the upper eyeliner, I think that is really gorgeous. And as I was saying, I do love the Natasha Denona, the matte formula that she has, using them as an eyeliner. They just stay put all day. The Clinique mascara is looking really good and it has given volume to my lashes. And I don't really have any issues with my eyelashes sort of dropping down or losing curl. My hair is naturally curly and my lashes are as well. So I don't really have any issues with that. So I can't imagine that my eyelashes will be dropped down or anything during the day and I didn't use an eyelash curler on them anyway. But I think it is a really good mascara. So I'll pin a comment or hopefully I will remember to pin a comment and just let you know how the mascara wore throughout the day. The blush is really pretty. Yes, it comes in a really small little packaging, but super cute. And I'm able to use just the blushes on their own and the highlighter, or like I said, you could mix them all together. It would be a little bit more trickier to get each blush shade individually. You probably could do it if you had a fairly small brush, maybe something like this Rafa number 18, this is more like I'd use just for the highlighter. But you could probably, if you put it on its end, just get each individual shade. But I think both of the shades mixed together, I think they are gorgeous. The highlighter is pretty and I love it that you can buff it out. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. The Lumiere Lip Volumizer is beautiful and I love it that they've come out with these shades and they are super sheer. Those of you that have watched many of my other videos, every now and then I wear a darker lipstick but mainly I go for something that gives just that hint of colour and not only do these plump the lips and I think they do to some degree just a little bit, they give that really juicy sort of moisturised look but with that sheer bit of colour, it's just gorgeous and perfect for my everyday makeup. I really love these and I'm going to pick up another couple of shades as well. I think they are really beautiful and I think it's gorgeous over the lip liners. So when this gloss eventually wears off after an hour or two or once you've had a coffee because this will, then you've still got that colour underneath. But these are easy to reapply. These are like the lip maximizers. You can just pop them in your bag 
and pop them on you won't even have to look in the mirror and they just give a really beautiful glossy but not too much just that beautiful moisturized look to your lips really lovely product so that's it for today's video. I would love it if you gave it a like and subscribed and I will see you next time. Bye.